So we have a testimony each and every week. And a few weeks ago, um, members of our youth group, they went down to Farmington, New Mexico to, to do some missions work, to do some service work down there and just kind of be, um, to see what a different part of the country, a different, it's really a different culture down there um, as far as um, just how things are. And so it was, it was good to go down there for them to do that. So we're going to invite some of the leaders and some of the youth who went. We don't have everybody here today, but um, the ones who could be here are here. And they're just going to come and share real quickly uh, about the, the trip that they went on, maybe something that they helped with and things like that. So let's welcome them as they come up. And it's, and it's funny because Bruce is going to start us out here. Um, I'll, I'll let you share. How about that? Okay. I was going to share, but you, it's your deal. <laughs> yeah, I'm not real sure what all I'm supposed to be saying, but my experience with this youth group is, is that we got an amazing bunch of kids, and I've never been on a mission trip. Okay. And, but I've never been on a mission trip before, but... Uh, we went down there and we, my job with a bunch of kids was to paint a room. And it was just a lot of fun. We got to like, meet a lot of people. And I really learned, you leave these, just guide these kids in the right direction. They're going to do it. You know, they will get the job done. They will do it. We got an amazing bunch of kids. And that was an experience that I'll never forget. It was just all kinds of fun. guys so I was kind of in charge of everywhere um, the other main youth director and I we, we were a little bit of everywhere we were a part of um, every group that was there the different jobs that they were doing and I kind of felt like paparazzi because I was taking pictures all over the place um, which I'll make sure that Jesse shows you guys next Sunday they're still kind of getting put in order but um so I did a little bit of every job. I got to work with every single one of the youth that was there all together with all the youth groups. We had 42 kids that went. Um, yeah, that's a lot, guys. That's huge. Um, they did uh, an amazing job of working together um, and overcoming some obstacles and a little bit of chaos in the mix of that. But you, you don't have a trip go down without some chaos. and. Um, and I think in the middle of that, I learned that I don't, I don't have to be in control. Matter of fact, no matter how bad I want to be in control, it does not happen that way. <laughs> I didn't want to go next. Okay. Hello. I'm Mia. And as you all probably know, um, we had the opportunity to go down to Farmington, New Mexico for a missions trip. Um, I had a great experience while we were there. Um, we had the privilege to put on a vacation Bible school for some of the kids in the community. I got to help the kids make paper, paper airplanes, and then they got to fly them across the room. And they, that was just fun, because the kids down there, they're just so quiet and sweet, and they were very polite the whole time. Um, and another really cool thing that we got to experience was some Navajo drumming. They used a big round drum called a water drum, and they just sat in a circle and drummed on it. <laughs> it was very cool to have a new perspective on how the Navajo live. It was awesome to see a couple different parts of their culture, and it was overall a very eye-opening experience for me. I'd like to finish by thanking everyone who enabled us to go on this trip by buying coffee at the coffee bar or just paying, praying for us as we traveled down there. And then I want to read Galatians 3.28, which says, There is no longer Jew or Gentile, slave or free, male or female, for you are all one in Christ Jesus. Hi, I'm Ruby. I attended the New Mexico Youth Missions trip this year. I liked helping paint in a room that some ladies used for a Bible study while we were there. Um, I also enjoyed going to the Four Corners it was a really fun experience. The people there were really nice in New Mexico. Something I learned is that mistake, um, everyone makes mistakes, and I know 
We all sometimes get frustrated and angry, but we have to trust that God is here right beside us, pushing us to keep going and work and work and work until we accomplished. Last, I would like to thank you all for donating to the coffee bar and the church so I could attend the New Mexico Missions Trip 2022. Thank you. Hello, I'm Serena. This was my first ever missionary trip. Probably the favorite thing we did was I helped set up for VBS and then I got to lead some kids around to the different groups and then teach them a lesson and we we drew on, I think it's rockets. <laughs> um, also another thing that we got to do was help feed the street people or the homeless, but they call them street people out there. And we got to sit with them, visit with them, and they shared some of their stories with us. Um, what I learned was you never know what someone's going through, so maybe sitting down and talking with them could make a big change. Because I know the street people were very blessed to have some of us because how their faces were and everything. And I want to say thank you for everyone that helped us go and all the prayers. It was a really fun experience. And if you ever get to go, I would, I'm trying to think of the word, encourage you to go. Thank you. My name is Lincoln Smith. I helped with painting a room. I learned that the Navajo praise God a lot different. And thank you to everybody that helped us go. Hi, my name's Clayton. This is what I this this was the first time I've ever done something like this, and I it was a long trip. I and I was tired. When I got there, I was tired. I helped Denise with her mission. I I met a lot of people. Two were named Matt and Noah. I had a good time getting to know them. I got to hang out with with a lot of new kids, and we got a gr we we had a great time. In our free time, we got to. We got to go to cool places like Four Corners. Well, I didn't introduce myself earlier. My name is Jason Ryan. Um, I was kind of voluntold to go. Uh, <laughs> right. Um, but I, all is what I can say is... These youth standing up here and the others that went are, were simply amazing. Guys, it was so edifying to me to see their eagerness to, to jump in elbows deep and, and just serve any way possible. They are ready and willing to serve if they just need a little bit of guidance. You know, they just need the opportunity shown to them to, to serve. And... Um, that was where I really came came into play. Is uh, God gave me the opportunity to to guide the youth um, to a shifted perspective because things weren't very organized 
when we went down there. Uh, Marianne said the word chaos, and it was chaotic at first. And the, and the youth was getting frustrated. And uh, so I just made my rounds and went and talked to every group and, and helped them see that anything that we was able to do while we was there was more than what was being done before we went. And uh, to, to have the opportunity to, to, to watch their perspective shift and the joy return to their faces, the frustration kind of leave, it was super edifying to me. Um, I would definitely do it again, and I would encourage any one of you guys to go as well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all. Some, sometimes I feel like Riley each week. I understand that. I understand that. It's scary to get up here and uh, to do this. So, But yeah, that, I think it was a great opportunity for all of them to grow and to just do something out of the ordinary, get them out of their comfort zones, and just allow them to, to serve and to see something new. So thank you all. Um, because this is the next generation of believers, right? I mean, we need to be raising them up um, because they're being inundated um, in their schools, in the environment that's around them, through the internet with just garbage. And so we need to be helping them to, to overcome some of that. So enough of my soapbox. We'll, we'll move on. So let's pray. Okay, come on. She's going. Steve, we need this. You got it right there. She got back up. My name is Riley Arab. I I was helping at first. I was helping uh, clean windows. Then I went to fold and sort clothes. And then the next day, I help make breakfast. And then I help uh, little kids make rockets. What I learned from this trip is what to ch- need. We got this, baby. Do you know? <laughs> What to change? I am. To change the world, I would have to change my country. To change my country, I would have to change my state. I would change change my state. I would have to change my county. And to change my county, I would have to change my town. And to do that, I would have to change me. Amen. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm, I'm going home. She preached right there, man. I'm going home. We'll see y'all later. If, if we want to make a change in the world... It begins right here with us. She, I think you got a future in preaching something. That was awesome. So.